but here we go. So check this out. I baited the trap with the dead turtle and here's the update. Super angry, of course. It's hard to know how to feel about this situation. I've caught two raccoons now and one possum. That brings us up to 13 turtles that were murdered. I'm gonna kill it, I'm gonna kill this thing. It is completely heartbreaking. Look at this, guys. Again, another casualty. This has been the worst week in my turtle keeping career. I just can't take any more of this, man. Hey, what's going on everyone? Kenny here with an update video about what's been going on in the front yard. Up, oh, you can hear that on my phone, right? Well, it turns out, folks, that I went ahead and I purchased some ring cameras. Uh, I got uh, two of these because we had another attack. Um, I told you I caught a raccoon as of this video, it was about a week ago when I'm filming this video, I caught a raccoon. It was a smaller-ish raccoon, uh, definitely a juvenile, and I ran it out of here. Uh, it's, <clears throat> you know, I relocated it. And that raccoon uh, is gone. But I knew there was gonna be another because the next day I had another attack, okay? Then I put up the electric fence. Right around here, you guys saw that video. I put the electric up, okay? You can see, but I did have another attack and sadly, it was one of my painted river terpens, one of these, Badiger borneensis. It was one of them uh, and it was weird because the animal was out of the water upside down and its cloaca was bitten through, so just the tail was mangled. Um, this has been extremely frustrating and I've been doing everything I can. So I went and I bought cameras last night, again, as of this video. And what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna show you what's going on. So we've got a front camera. You can see there I am talking to you guys on the front camera right there. Uh, and we also have this pond. And um, they have, of course, they have motion centers, sensors and uh, the motion sensor should make a ring noise, but I guess not since I'm on it. I don't know, but there we are. Okay, so here we are filming. Um, I found the turtle yesterday during the day over here. So I was just freaking really, really angry. So that's why I went and I bought cameras because uh, the cameras will go off and let me know, there's our little guys are still here, thankfully. The cameras will go off and let me know if there's any kind of motion. And I like the coverage. I can see the whole pond. I can see everything going on. I also uh, buttoned up a little bit of the electric. There were a couple of spots, like for example, this one, that were a little bit more, uh, like had room where a small animal could go through. But here we go. So check this out. I baited the trap with the dead turtle and here's the update look what we got we got a raccoon we got another raccoon as you can see another juvenile type raccoon this is a smaller one and he's pulled in the yeah this guy i think is our culprit I really hope that this is the last one. And you can see the Badiger. He ate it last night. So I figured why not bait it with the dead body since it wasn't rotting. And it's their favorite food apparently, this guy. So here's the scoop, man. Um, super angry, of course, you know. Um, it's hard to know how to feel about this situation because obviously I want to protect my animals. And then I'm, a, I'm an animal lover myself. But um, these little bandits are so destructive to turtles. They are just so destructive. Uh, and it is, like I said, a smaller raccoon. So this is definitely, you know, a raccoon that is not a uh, full grown adult. But I think it's a weaned baby that has um, 
sit out on his own and maybe him and the other guy were uh, brother and sister or they are just, you know, litter mates. And they were kind of living together as, as you know, but I am gonna place the trap out again. And I am going to, um, I'm gonna see if I catch anything else. I should also note, I caught a possum in the trap, in the trap this week. Uh, so I've caught two raccoons now and one possum. And um, you know, this whole thing, man, just, it's incredible. I found one more musk turtle shell. It was an older attack. So that brings us up to uh, 13 turtles that were murdered by these guys uh, that were eaten, you know? <clears throat> and, um, you know, I get mad and I think, I say to myself, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill this thing. And this guy's actually, yeah, see, he's pretty aggro. But, um, you know, I'm like, oh, I wanna kill this thing. This thing sucks. And um, then I look at them and I realize that it's just an animal and it's just trying to live and it's not easy to live in the wild out there as a, as a wild animal. And so, you know, as hard as it may be, I've got compassion, you know, I've, I've just got compassion for these things. So he's just doing what nature told him to do and they're very crafty and I'm just gonna have to be more crafty. We've got the cameras, we got the electric up. Um, I'm just gonna have to be more vigilant. I can't kill this thing. Um, it's just not my nature. It would be no different if someone saw a venomous snake in their yard, they instantly kill it because they consider it a nuisance. So I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna uh, kill this animal, but I am gonna uh, get rid of it and uh, he is gonna go somewhere else, that's for sure. So that's what I'm doing, man, that's the update. It's just, man, I'm gonna leave him here for a minute because again, I told you I am gonna move him out, but I think it's smart just to kind of have a walk around and make sure that the animals are okay. Of course, all the large tortoises are fine. And this, what makes me think that these guys are definitely the only culprits is because of how they've been attacking the turtles. The smallest turtles, there goes my ring motion sensor. The smallest turtles, like the musk turtles, were completely eaten. The larger turtles, I think, put up enough of a fight that they could only mangle a little bit of them. They could only eat a tail, or they could only get a leg. Um, they weren't able to, they weren't strong enough to pull the head out and kill the, kill the animal outright. So, I'm feeling pretty confident that the attacks came from smaller-ish raccoons. Um, it's still sad, you know, I mean, we lost a good swath of our animals. And, um, you know, I don't know. I mean, there's the Reeves turtles still here. We still have some spotted turtles, some Indian spotted turtles, but it is completely heartbreaking. Um, let's go over here, actually. I'm gonna walk over to the, uh, I wanna go check the tub up oh, there's another ring at least i know that the motion sensors are working that makes me very happy um the rings were not too expensive it was about 400 bucks for two cameras um they set up really easily and the other benefit is i may be able to see um number one it's security uh which is great but i could also i'm planning on getting more of them just so i can see you know, the animals uh, maybe laying eggs and things like that. So luckily for us, all these turtles were fine. Uh, the Japanese wood turtle and the Japanese Reeves turtles are all good. And then here's what I found and I'm hoping, yeah, look at this guys. Again, another casualty. I was trying to nurse this animal back to health but if you look, uh, this was a, a Mexican musk turtle that was attacked by the uh, raccoon. You can see his foot was kind of bit and um, it had also a little wound on its neck. And the reason these guys were attacked is look at how small that plaster on is. The raccoons were able to eat away. Now, I had it soaking in an antibiotic because I noticed maggots on it but I think the infection was systematic. 
So that makes four Mexican musk turtles that perished due to a raccoon attack. This has been the worst week in my turtle keeping career. I'm just gonna place this animal. It's, it's heartache, man. It's absolute heartache. I don't know what else to say besides that. This, these two videos suck. Um, this is just something that, it happens, man. I don't know how else to put it. I don't know how else to put it. I mean, I, listen, I had an electric fence up on the two and a half acres and it was working. It went down apparently. These guys moved in. As soon as I noticed trouble, I got right on it, you know? I, I got the electric fence up and running again. I got, you know, everything I was supposed to do, but this was just a crap week, guys. So, hopefully, um, this is gonna mitigate the problem. Hopefully that there was only two uh, babies or juveniles that were hanging around here for an easy meal. Um, because I just can't take any more of this, man. So don't worry, animal lovers. The raccoon will not be uh, <clears throat> dirt napped. So um, I will not do that. Um, but I'm not happy. I thought maybe I could turn that Mexican musk turtle around. So that's, uh, I don't know what we've learned. Um, you gotta do everything you can. Electric fence, cameras, it's just not, it's not easy. <clears throat> it's not easy. Uh, that's it, guys. Crappy day here at the camp. Uh, but a hopeful future because I'm hoping that we got our bandit. Or bandits. Remember, I did pull another raccoon out of here last week. So hopefully this is the last guy. And this is the last dead turtle from raccoons we're going to have. All right, well, let me tell you something, dude. You're lucky that I'm the one that caught you, man, because uh, a lot of people would have just thrown you in the lake and drowned your butt. I'm uh, not that way, and I'm kind of glad I'm not that way. No matter how angry you get, people, you have to remember animals are just trying to survive. They're trying to do their thing. And um, even though we lost a lot of our turtles, we're going to have compassion, and we're going to just do the right thing by this animal and get it the hell out of here. All right, everyone, like and subscribe, or not, if you don't like this video, since it's a sad subject, but it's an update, and I think uh, the future is gonna be a little bit better here at Camp Kennan. Thanks so much for your support, everybody. Don't forget to uh, leave a comment below. What would you have done? Would you guys kill this thing, or would you let it live? Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, take care. We'll talk to you soon.